Hey guys, uh, I just thought I'd make a video as I drive here. Uh, I'll lower it in a second. I was just showing you the evening sky. As the sun gets ready to set here in just a little while. Um, or it is setting, I should say. Uh, I just thought I'd talk about something. I mean, I'm having bad symptoms right now, so I'm not doing great. I mean, I'm, I'm hanging in there, but that's about it. But... I just thought I'd talk about something that's really been on my mind. And this is mainly for autistic people, not as much in sales, but, uh, you know, we're in, or forever alone people. But when you're autistic, do you ever feel like you're behind everybody? Like, even people that are younger than you are ahead of you in everything. And, like, I don't mean women. I'm not even talking about just that. It's like everything. It's like... You know, I remember when I used to go to church, I would see these kids, you know, they're not kids now, they're adults, but I would see these kids that would be, you know, younger than me, uh, you know, by a number of years, and I remember, I mean, they were kids when I was, you know, a young adult, and it's like, now they're married, and they have a family, and I'm sure, you know, they have a home, I'm sure their family helps them a little bit, you know, things like that, maybe. But they have a home, they have children, and then here you are, almost stuck in the same rut you were always in. Now, in my defense, let me get around this corner, let me get over in the southern lane, guys, just a second, okay. Uh, in my defense, you know, I, uh, I've been through a lot more than a lot of those people have, too. Uh, you know, that's definitely part of the problem. You know, and I'm not insulting. I'm, I'm just saying, uh, you know, if somebody's been deathly sick for years, they're going to be behind somebody that was pretty healthy, unless the person that was pretty healthy just didn't do anything, right? You know, they're going to be behind them in probably a lot of things because they weren't able to do anything. They were sick. And uh, as a friend of mine, as a, a friend of mine, I'll scrap that. Um, as somebody I watched online that was talking about benzo videos once said. They said, when somebody is sick with, let's just say the flu, let's just use that as an example. When you're sick with the flu, are you rambunctious? Are you getting out there and getting things done? Are you, are you burning the midnight oil studying? Or are you working on a project? No, you're sick. <laughs> you know, you're probably grumpy. You're tired. You're, uh, you just want to get well. You hate feeling like that. And you're like that until you're well. Well, I've partly been like this now. Oh, I've, the worst of this, I've been sick now for almost four years. It's been three years almost every day. Uh, I get windows, but the waves come back. I didn't describe that sometime, but I'm kind of sick of talking about benzo withdrawal, but I can't get rid of it. So, you know, what am I going to do if I can't get rid of it? Uh, you know, and it's destroyed my life. I mean, had I not been in benzo withdrawal, who knows what I would have done, but uh, I'll never know that. But I just wonder if any of y'all, even if you haven't been through benzo draw, do you ever look around, especially autistic people? I know they feel like that too. Do you ever look around and you see people and you think, God, they're, they're way ahead of me. You know, like, you know, these are people that are even younger than I was. And their life is so much better than mine. Like, they're far advanced. They're past me, you know. They've done achieved things that I should have achieved long before they came along. And I don't know, it's just very frustrating to me. Like I said, I saw somebody, like I mentioned earlier, that I, you know, that was, I'm way older than. You know, I mean, I was an adult when they were still kind of kids, and now, you know, they're married, have kids, and probably have a decent life, right? And it's like, here I am, <laughs> just stuck, you know? Like I said, not all of it's my fault, but still, it's very frustrating, and it makes you feel so worthless. It makes you feel so useless. Uh, makes you feel, obviously, like a failure, you know. And it's almost like, in some ways, I'm still a kid. It's just a very weird, you know, I don't know, it's just a weird situation. But, yeah, I just wondered if any of y'all feel that way. I just thought I'd make this video and ask you and talk about it, so... Um, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. I guess uh, I'll go ahead and get off here and try.
trying to relax. I'm having a rough symptoms. I probably shouldn't even have got out and drove, but I did. And uh, I'll get home and just try to relax. It's uh, not feeling real well at all, to be honest. And it's cold here to boot. So, well, guys, take care. Uh, have a good day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.